Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to add an app launcher or an app shortcut, whatever you want to call it, to your lock screen on your iPhone and on your iPad. You can do this exact same thing on iPad because with iPadOS 17 we got the update to add widgets and things to your iPad as well as with your iPhone. So you can add exactly the same things and follow the exact same process with iPad and you will get the same results. I did this video last year but since then the app that I used has been kind of like discontinued. It's not working anymore. It's not even available in the app store, but I found an app that actually does it really well that I actually recommend. There are quite a few apps that actually have this feature of adding a shortcut to your lock screen, but the one that I was looking for was one that actually had good looking app icons or app logos. A lot of them just use the app logo as it is, paste it onto your lock screen, and then that's it. But a lot of the times with coloring and everything, it just looks bad and just like an image you just paste it on there rather than an actual icon designated for your lock screen. But you'll see the app that I've chosen actually has a few options for icons and it just looks really nice. So let's get into it and I'll show you how to add these icons. So the app is called Lock Launcher. This is what it looks like. So all you're going to do is you're going to go into the app and then you'll see have different sections here at the bottom. You're going to go to widgets and then you'll see all the different widgets that you have. Now, first off, I have to disclaim this. It is not entirely free. You get two widgets free and then after that, you're going to have to pay for it. I only use like two lock screen widgets for this, so I don't really mind only having two, but maybe you want even more for different setups. It does have a once-off payment, so it's not too bad price-wise. It's not like a monthly subscription or anything, but you can just choose whether you want to upgrade or not or if you're fine with just two widgets. So in this section, you're going to click on the lock screen widget and then you're going to go ahead and choose an action. And you're just going to search the name of the app that you want to create the shortcut for. So I'm going to search Notion and then you can adjust a few things. So first off, you can choose the custom icon. Like I said, this is very important to me. I'm just going to choose the first one, but they have some other ones with different icons that you can just choose from. If you don't want to use just the app logo, you can choose a cute icon for it. And then you can go to custom name, put in a custom name, and then you can choose use large icon or not. I prefer the smaller icon, but you can choose which one you want. And then you can choose whether you want a round background or not. This will determine whether it has like a little background color to your icon. I prefer this to be on. I'll put a side by side what it looks like when you have the round icon on and when it's off. And once you're happy with all that, you can just click on save. So then you've created your app launcher. Now we're going to go ahead and add this to our lock screen. It's really easy. It works like any widget. You just go to your lock screen, hold down and go to customize and then you go to your widget section sometimes it will have it recommended at the top here but then you can just scroll down if it doesn't go to lock launcher and then just choose the widget that you've set up so it has widget one widget two um, and if you have more so i'm just going to choose widget two and then it's added that to my lock screen. So now when you tap on that in your lock screen, it's going to take you to the app. The first time you do it, it's going to ask you permission to open the app through this app launcher app. After that, it's just going to do it automatically. You're not going to have to click on allow every single time. And it's really as easy as that to add an app shortcut to your lock screen using the lock launcher app. So I hope this helped you out and you can now add some shortcuts to your own lock screen. This is such a fun thing to add to your lock screen, not just only for functionality, but also for aesthetics. I just really like the look of these. So yeah, these are my favorite types of widgets to add to my lock screen. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you have any questions or any other app suggestions that even do this better. I would always love to know your suggestions. Again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.